Saying stated by various contributors to 92 Kells, its website and its radio programs are not to be considered as endorsed by A Better Broadcasting Media and A Better Entertainment LLC. Visitors are urged to use their own discernment to draw their own conclusions. We emphasize the importance of keeping an open mind and not construing the data, products, and or services as factual. You're not tuned into the garage apartment on 92 It's Sunday night, and welcome to the Garage Apartment, sports talk with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant, Adar Jones. We got the tribe in here. Hey, hey. I like it. He's back. Mr. Yay Yay. D-Mac is back. Tell him who you are, man. D-Mac, back in the building, one and only. I'm second this time. It's Ahmad, your correspondent, Southland Conference correspondent. <laughs> okay, okay. And last but certainly not least, it's the black Oprah Winfrey. Oh, oh, oh. Oprah Winfrey. Ball Mizzle. <laughs> Got him so shook. Oh, no, making no, no, white Gail boys King. cry. You mean Gail King? Nah, I'm, I'm Bob Lee up in here. Either way, we'll be getting it. Yeah. <laughs> well, shout out to Oprah. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Emotional. And we are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes. yes. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And brand new, newly set up, newly functioning and running. Hit them. The Garage APT.com. Hit them. Yeah, please go there. Some content coming. Good content. Look for right. merchandise coming soon. For those of you who can read, <laughs> we have articles. Those of you who like videos, we got we videos. <laughs> Look, something for everybody. Yeah, R. Kelly's you, listening. You can check out the video. Yeah, and those of you who like to listen to the radio, we have previous shows on there too. We in here fresh off of our Southland Conference coverage. I'm literally still pulling confetti out of my hood. Congratulations to Abilene Christian University. ACU. Their women's and men's teams winning the conference tournament Pulled and the, the automatic bid to the NCAA. So, fellas. Sir. How was your week, man? Tire ring. Austin. Still See, unlike you two, it was a hustling week. We were going to work every day and then, and then going, going to the tournament. See, I like how these teachers they complain <laughs> about the teaching profession until they get a dang on week off. Okay? And then two weeks off. Yeah, until spring break and Christmas break and all that good stuff and summer break coming up. Y'all complain and then boom. So well, Man, it wasn't like I was resting. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about because yeah. uh, I was working this week. I just told you, uh, guys, we we had some amazing coverage. I had an awesome time at the Southland uh, Southland Conference basketball tournament. Shout out uh, to Brandon Williams, man. Shout yes. out to Brandon Williams, who Southland. covers Southland.org. Southland.org. He is a uh, recap reporter for the Southland Conference on Southland.org. Um, shout out to the Southland Conference, man. They were awesome hosts. Katy, Texas, the Mural Center. Mural. They uh they they welcomed us with open arms. They had good food too. They had good food. They treated us very well. Um, I think we turned a few heads, but hey. Yeah, we did. We out here. We do this for the Representing people. Representing for y'all. You know what I'm talking about? We do this for the people. Garageapt.com. That's right. That's right. So. Of course, we know what happened in the Southland, but we also kind of have an idea of what is to come nationally with the NCAA tournament. So now, our number one seeds have been announced, and who they are, who, D? We have Duke, North Carolina, Duke, Virginia, North Carolina, and Gonzaga. Who's number one overall? Number one overall appears to have been Duke. Okay. With Virginia, 
Gonzaga and North Carolina. Okay, well, I protest that. Wait, so ACC has three teams? Three number one seeds. Oh, see, that's that bull. My friend. <laughs> Nobody's good in, in the, any other conference? So. I mean, this is literally the only reason for existence for this conference. So they put everything in the basketball, and it's working out right now. <laughs> I think it's Virginia. That's the one that's really kind of messing up everything. You expect North Carolina and Duke to be there. But Virginia to consistently have won the ACC is. Well, you know, there's always there's always been a third team. There's always been a ter- third team. It just it has flip flopped. I remember it was Georgia Tech for a little while, and then it was Wake Forest for a little while, and then who else was a third team? Uh, and the uh, NC State was always like a fourth NC. team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's they would always make a little noise. In that was saying, yeah, Maryland. Maryland there, Maryland, you would always yeah. have a third team every we'll now the and Big then. Ten yeah, that's crazy, right? Yeah, so it appears. Texas didn't make it? Should they well, make it their 500? This is the last four in. Belmont, Temple, Arizona State, St. Yeah, John. Yeah, Texas They're 500. Yeah. They're 16 and 16. Does that deserve a tournament? Dude, Texas should be in the CBI. They shouldn't even get a... a How do we NIT feel about... Oh, I feel a little something about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite disappointed, especially since Rick Barnes left and went to the and other and UT. And almost got a number one seed. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I was, I am a fan of Shaka Smart. The current head coach of UT, not and I mention, expected bigger things. I was just gonna say, not to mention uh, the the way he was able to uh, the the program that he turned Virginia Commonwealth into. You would expect with with the talent that he's able to get at UT that he'd be able to do a little bit more than what he is doing there. I I don't really know what's going on. I don't. I, don't I get would it. agree. The only thing I would say is that um, Rick Barnes was also pretty mediocre until he got that one class. Well, with Kevin Garnett? Yeah, Kevin Garnett. Oh, Jesus. I was no. like, not with Kevin TJ Garnett. With T.J. Ford and, uh, and Kevin, Kevin Durant. 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 Kevin Durant. There yeah. you go. With uh, T.J. Ford started. And, yeah, Kevin, Kevin Garnett, Garnett couldn't get in the college. In. <laughs> <laughs> so he was straight so pro. Ugly. Straight pro. Started his clock immediately. D.J. Augustine. Who else? He had quite a few players. Rick Barnes yeah, was able Augustine, to get. Yeah, D.J. Augustine, yeah. What was that? What was that dude's name? Royale, Royale Ivy. 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 Royale Ivy. Ivy. Royale Ivy. He's an assistant coach for somebody. He's a good man. Don't forget, um, uh, what's my man? Daniel Gibson. Oh yeah, Booby. Can't forget Booby. Daniel Gibson. Man, yeah. I saw somebody in in Lake Charles with a D Gib Hoops Pro Am yeah. League. T-shirt. He has right. a AAU tournament, and they play, or not, I don't know if a tournament. I know he's a part of an AAU team. Yes. He and does. they played in New Orleans like a week ago. Oh, really? You follow the AAU stuff, too? I don't follow the AAU. I hear about certain things. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I like to read, so if it pops up, we'll yeah. know about it. AAU season is full swing for full me. Full swing. So now. Exploitation. Yeah, I turned down money this weekend. Cover the Southland. Yeah. <laughs> and you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed so. myself immensely. You know what I mean? Yelled at by parents that don't know what the hell they're talking about. Continuation. Continuation. Oh, God. And we were on the floor just like we were involved in the game. Actually, we were involved in the game more Man, than. It's a lot better yeah. view down there. A lot better view yeah, on I think, that I think Hadari was on CBS today. <laughs> That's what's up. Had a player run right into him. I think I might have been on ESPN uh, Dose yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We were trying. Yeah, well, I was on the phone with my dad, and I was trying to angle. He's like, can you see me? I was trying to angle <laughs> with the garage apartment. He's like, you got our, black shirt on? Yeah. The garage yeah. apartment, you know. Oh, nationwide, baby. baby. I yeah. wasn't there. I was I was covering the cool in the gang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the cool you and were there, You were there three out of the four days. So, yeah. yeah, I was. I mean, yeah, I was there for the early parts. I wasn't there for the championship, men's championships and women's semifinals and the women's finals. But it was all good. I, I I liked how the days I was there, I, I really did like the basketball that was being played. Yeah, very high level. Um, the girls' basketball was a very high level, too. Women's. I, very, well, yes, I'm sorry. Women's was high level. And I liked the way that it shaped out for the final. Absolutely. Shout out to Coach Chadwick uh, and, the, and the Texas A&M Corpus Christi women's basketball team. They came up a little short. They ended Lady up the runner-ups. 
but they I was impressed with what they have going. He has all but one senior coming back. Um, and so I'm, I'm expecting to see big things out of them in the Southland Conference next year. So, fellas, as far as nationally, what are we expecting in this tournament? Of course, we said, who is the number one overall seed? Duke. Duke is the number I don't know how they deserve it. I mean, yeah, we don't know I'm, for I'm sure. A, it's I would protest be. that. It might not be Duke It for might sure. be Gonzaga. I can't find anything else that says it for sure. I just found no, one they gave it, Somehow they gave it. I'm sure they gave it to Duke. So, now I know this is extremely. But, Duke, but wouldn't the number one seed be playing like at home? Not home, no, but it would home. be Not close. home, but it I mean, yeah, like close. Duke doesn't play in North Carolina. Is there a, is there a region time, in North Carolina? But it looks like Gonzaga does play in Washington. No, nah, no, nah, but Duke men, number one overall seed in NCAA tournament. So, yeah, they did get Bro. it. Nah, Shout know. out Coach K, baby. So, who are they playing first round? First game they have is North Carolina Central or uh, North Dakota State. Okay, so those are the two worst teams. Two yes. Worst teams. Well, we don't like to say that. The two lower seeds. Number one team. overall seed. That's the number sixty-seven and sixty-eight. Lower seed. Yeah, well, those let's teams are they're the top teams in their conferences. So let's not say worst. Teams. Evidently let's not. L- lower. They must have upset team. somebody in the <laughs> conference tournament to be to be down there. What's North know. Carolina no. Central's record? That's an HBCU. They in the MIAC, right? Yeah, MIAC. Who was, yeah. who was the preseason favorite in the MIAC? I have no idea. Hampton. No, Hampton, no, Hampton is no longer in the MIAC, man. Yeah. 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 They, Stepped they, up on them, huh? They, they didn't, moved out. They, yeah, moved, they moved out on Southern them. Conference. It was probably North Carolina A&T or somebody. Yeah, maybe. I Most never likely. I don't Carolina A&T to have anything basketball. But anyway, so ugh, Duke being the number one seed, I don't know if they deserve that. Number one overall, I don't know if they deserve that because they, they're they not necessarily the best team in their conference. However, yeah, best team in the league, bro. No, they're not. Anyway, North Carolina begs to differ. Anyway. No, they don't. One in the conference two out of three, Two out of three victories, they say yes. Well, don't lose to Florida State. No. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, and you can hold that moniker. Well, I'm just saying. You win more games. They got a double by two, didn't they? Win, yes. I, double I mean, by format, very popular. <laughs> but it gets people beat. It, Which it is, is something we saw yesterday. Very popular. It is very, very popular. Yeah, we saw something like that teams. two days ago. And and it goes. It, uh, evidently, one the door is swings. Not too popular I gotta say, oh, one, yeah. it, it, the door swings both ways because I hey, we saw this weekend. It was some coaches who were really for it and and felt like it it it, it a tribute to their 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 team's Demise. performance. And then there was some who felt like it was a, a hindrance. Yeah. So. I mean, well, you can blame it either way. That's the thing. You can say, well, now it hurt us. Right. Or Depending say, on, well, your, on, on how you did in the, in well, we the were game. We well rested. And, uh, <laughs> or you can say, well, we rested a little too much and we were uh, shaky in the first half. The women's teams had a harder time with it than this weekend from what I saw because both of them lost. Yeah. <laughs> in, the fir- in their first game. Yeah. So yeah. They had a rougher time with it. Absolutely, man. Yeah, but uh, okay. So, do we have a bracket up? Not yet. Uh, so, U of H so lost in their tournament, their tournament championship. However, they did receive a three seed. Which region are they in? Which region is U of H in? I didn't. I mean, this is fresh, y'all. We. I mean, they just. Yeah, the show just went off. The so. <laughs> and so everything was flashing across the screen. Well, U of H went got a a three seed, and they are playing. Oh wait, who did who Gardner, they play? Where, no, um, oh. we're playing Fairly Dickens. Fairly Dickens. Uh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're an alum, <laughs> or some people call yeah, you're an alumni. So <laughs> you can say we. They're he playing. graduated. He's an yeah, alum. Yeah, an alumni. <laughs> yes, they're he graduated. Playing, they're playing Fairly Dickens. You're probably still paying them, so it's okay. Yeah. So they have Fairly Shh, Dickinson. They have Fairly Dickinson in the first round, and yeah, then they maybe. will play the winner. If they win, they were to play the winner out of the Ohio State. Iowa State game. Yeah, which is not a good draw to me, man. That's that's a recipe for, oh, God. I, man, they should have won, uh, what, today? Or? Final? If oh they God. So so if they win their final, Who's do they get a higher Georgia seat? State? Uh, they shouldn't have gotten a higher seat if they that's won. That's right. U of H is playing, playing Georgia State. State. They're playing Who's Georgia playing State. Who's playing Fairley Dickinson? The Gonzaga is playing oh. Fairley, but Fairley Dickinson has to play their playing oh, game Oh, no. Fairley Dickinson is playing PV. That's right. Yeah, they're they playing play in the play playing game. Shout out. And the play PV. Yeah. Game. 
Shout out to PV. Yeah, which is another. Okay, now, 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 now. We now. we discuss these things. Okay, okay. Now the Southland Conference. We were in this great uh, conference tournament this weekend uh, in a really great uh, arena. Um, out, it's way out in Katy, but it's still a good spot. Wasn't that and far? No, nah, really not. <laughs> I know, especially for you, right? Not that far for some of us. <laughs> Which to me is a good spot. I mean, the Southland Conference is headquartered in uh, Frisco, Texas. Frisco, Texas. But uh, yeah, it's 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 what the biggest city in the conference is. What out of what Beaumont and uh, Corpus, maybe? Yeah, probably. Uh, what, the South? Yeah, maybe Lake Charles. New I, don't know, I don't know how many people Lake. Oh, well, New Orleans, yeah. I forgot about New that. Orleans, Bob. New Orleans would be a good spot, too, for them to hold the That bus. would be a good place to have. But I want them to awesome keep it here spot. at the Merrill Center. Absolutely. Um, because, I mean, it's a very Texas-heavy conference. Absolutely. Anyway, so the SWAC decided to have their conference tournament in Birmingham. Yes. Urban. Birmingham, excuse me. Watch too much. It's in soccer. Birmingham. <laughs> in Birmingham. Okay, and to me, if that conference final had have been here, it would have been Absolutely. Between Texas Southern, Southern, Southern and Prairie, and Prairie Everybody would have been there. Yeah. Then when I look at the uh, history of the SWAC, the SWAC started in Houston. So yeah. why are you going to Birmingham? There's not even a team in Birmingham. Well, it's supposed so to be like a central Alabama location because you have teams in Alabama, you have teams in Louisiana, you have teams in Arkansas and Mississippi. Well, my family's so, from Mississippi. And my family is Jackson State and all corn heavy. And I'll tell you, they would much rather drive six and a half hours to Houston <laughs> than to go to an hour Birmingham. to Birmingham. <laughs> I guarantee you that. That's what I was thinking, man. Well, you, got, you got a perfect spot for it. Now, when they did hold it out here, they would uh, Toyota Center, just all stupid, yeah, that's uh, spending all that money. When you have a you have a sixty five hundred seat arena over there, you could probably pack in seventy one hundred if you want to. I mean, anywhere on the campus of Texas. Yeah, HP and E. I mean, we had seventy okay seventy two hundred capacity at the Merrill Center. All right. Didn't need all them seventy two hundred. Didn't know they, <laughs> did not, they did not need every seat in there. Yeah. Which, which 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 I'm gonna tell y'all people next year. Come uh, out. Go out there. It's, it's, it's the Southland yeah. Conference is yeah, improving. You got men's and women's games. Tickets, I was gonna say tickets probably aren't expensive. Tickets are affordable. Seven tickets were um, were allocated to schools as well. So yeah, a lot of comp tickets. So as you can see, it's like usually during tickets. the spring break week. And man, they, they actually put on a very good show. They had activities for the they kids. Had man, activities for the show, they had activities for the family. They had an man, amazing man. halftime oh. show at the championship game last yeah, night. The men's championship game. I Although she also did it again today. Did she, she do it again? Yeah, the exact did. same routine? I, I didn't know. Nah, it's going to take a little less off if so. <laughs> nah, that lady should fight crime. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, she definitely she looks like she could be Daredevil's girlfriend or something. Yeah. Like that. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think sure. people, kids who are on their, you know, on the seesaw of where they should go and play, especially athletes that are playing basketball. They should uh, come check out that conference tournament. They, they, those are some good schools that you can get a good education and, right. and hoop and contribute to those teams. Yeah, and I know a lot of you people out there went to some of these schools. I know a lot of people went to SFA and Sam Houston State. Absolutely. Well, but when they come in town, y'all don't go. Yeah, no, that's bad. <laughs> All right. Now, I mean, you know. Well, uh, maybe they know that Sam Houston is. I stop it. Well, man. sometimes man. maybe Sam well. Houston would have been willed to hit a layup or two <laughs> <laughs> had you been there. <laughs> to run. Oh, no, according to their coach, okay. no, they that's don't not what they do. That's not what up. they do. That's not what they do. They don't make layups. layups they don't make the layups. And I would have known that if I had covered his team the entire year. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. Well, he was angry. <laughs> <laughs> he got on both of the Jones boys. And that, well, whatever. Hey, whatever. Yeah, I was like, whatever. That's dude. all right. We had a good showing out there. We do appreciate him for at least allowing us to cover that and for being willing to open himself up with such emotions yeah. after the questions <laughs> from the Jones Bowl. Yeah, the star for me was Coach Joe Golden, though. He was a, from Abilene Christian. Absolutely. absolutely. He, was a, he was a ham. I mean, and he, he was, was so happy after that. Oh, he was excited. What? What's yeah. he excited? And I like Coach Chadwick, too, the women's coach at uh, A&M Corpus. That boy Gold said, uh, I was highly under-recruited as a player. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's not a little sore about that. He's still a little sore about playing him D2 being, basketball. Him being a, a, a former player at Abilene Christian, but he has now led his team to their first ever 
NCAA appearance. He After was extremely, admitting himself, he should have been fired. It's six years ago, six he years admitted ago. himself that six years was, ago they should have. What were they like? Him. The second, third worst team, literally, in in, in the basketball, in college crazy, basketball. It's, it's crazy. And I mean, now, he was playing with a bunch of division. And now he can yeah. claim to be champions, and they are getting ready to face Kentucky, a very yeah. tough team in Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, hey, Fifteen Cats. seed though. This is true. Okay. 15, yeah. See, nice they solid 16, in there. 15. They solid in there. Yeah, they in there. So. Not to mention, see, that's another that thing. first weekend. So now, if, if Texas Southern had won, if they had beaten Prairie View, does, does TSU get a 15? Got a 15? They probably would have got a 15. Because Prairie yes. View gets a 16 because their schedule was not nearly as Yeah, they tough probably get a 15 because as TSU, TSU beat Oregon. They beat a and They beat a and They have a record. They beat a SEC team. They have yes, a track record absolutely. of being in the league. And, I mean, yeah, they, they have a track record. Yeah, they have history of being well. in the tournament and doing and making others sweat. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how PV does because they have a, a very small team, man. Yes, uh, they do. I, I was looking at that. Out of 15 kids, I think they got like 11 guards. So wow. It's going to be 6'9 is probably the high, tallest one. No, nah, not even. I think they got like a 6'7. Oh, wow. And uh, they got a tough. kid, I think, that's like 6'8, but he weighed like 105 pounds. So <laughs> I don't know how, You know what I mean? But uh, it, it's, de- it's, it's definitely going to be something to see. So We do have a the, bracket up at the garage apartment if you're ready for your brackets and everything to start filling them out. We do have one up at our Twitter account. I think we should start one. Do you, should yeah. we, y'all want to start one? We, we want to start a garage do. apartment bracket. Yeah, hey, we, we, hey, five dollars yeah, per person. Oh lord. Uh, 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 we can discuss that <laughs> at a later date. <laughs> uh, can you can't just go that into that, that on. Uh, can't just say that on the air. <laughs> <laughs> in front of my wife and everything. <laughs> we can do that here at the garage apartment. No, I'm we about in front of the police. Not your wife. Uh. Yeah, exactly. Uh, of the FBI. Oh man. No, but it was enjoyed. It, uh, this weekend was a very good basketball weekend to witness. Yeah. Uh, up close and personal. Now we got a little way. We got away from the co- the question a little bit. Who do we have? I know it's extremely early, but who do we have? Who 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 do you all have favored? Favored yeah. to come out victorious uh, and this year's national champion. Okay, well, let's look at the Okay, so do I'm, I'm going I said, I know it's extremely early to call it, but... Uh, I mean, am I, I, am I going on politics? I, you don't want politics, me to ask. I got to <laughs> I already know your answer. I mean, well, no, I want you to answer, D. I'll go, I'll go, Duke's going to be in it. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Duke's going to be in it. Right. Who they're playing against. I, I Okay, I'll. it might sound crazy. I don't know if they're on the same side of the bracket. Uh, I have to look. Who's that? Uh, I think they are. Which Michigan State? Yeah, yeah, Michigan State. Gonna be a problem. Sweet sixteen. Michigan okay. State would be there. For That's them. gonna be a good, good matchup. It uh, Yale's Vill- gonna be a problem for Duke too, though. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> Villanova is on that same Yale. side. Not even gonna see Yale. Uh, what <laughs> to say? They're not gonna even be there. We're probably gonna have to face that boy Taco in the next round, though. Uh, I'm not worried about them either. I see they're trying to set it up for a North Carolina Duke final. Is that Liberty the same Liberty of uh Yeah, Jerry Falwell yeah, School. It's, it's, uh, uh. Yeah. I can I can see I can see a corny a lot of Duke money. North Carolina <laughs> final. A lot of money. A North Carolina final, so they're on opposite sides? Yes, yeah, so that, that would be great. Right. That would not. That would be so wet. Yeah. See right. each other play. See them play each other fourth four time, times. Sir. Yeah, that's fourth wet. time. That's beyond. They're that. they're really making this like a a uh a NBA playoff. schedule? No, a playoff. Yeah, but the ACC uh, NCAA three. playoff football schedule. Three number one seeds. That's what I'm saying. That's a little ridiculous. That so is now, crazy. That's, you're not going to sit here and tell me that you're the best conference in the in the nation and that your top three teams, because that's pretty much all you got. That's what they your do. Your top three teams are the best three teams in the entire nation. That's what they do for the SEC in football. I was going to say, like – and you know I had an issue with that too. That that to me that's ridiculous, especially when I I've made it very yeah. clear I feel like they give Alabama way too much than they earn, way more than they earn. Yeah, yeah, uh, they have in the past, but I mean, golly, thank goodness for Clemson to straighten that out this year. Yeah, and, and, 
and see, my problem is you can't take history into account that Virginia always disappoints. I mean, again, they're 29-3. and three. Yeah, and okay. they were the first ever number one seed to lose. I mean, they've year. been like thirty-two and two before. Yeah, and go out in the second round. I yes, mean, this is true. I, I they were the what the first so 16 the Big to, Ten I mean, one first one to lose to a sixteen. That was last. The Big was, Ten last, last season. Last year, last the last Big season. Ten had eight teams get in. ACC had seven. CNS SEC CNS. had seven. Big Twelve had six. The American ACC had four. Big East had four. Pac twelve had three. That's the problem. Mountain West yeah, had two, West Coast two, down. Ohio St- Ohio Valley, excuse me, two, and the A-10 two. Pac-12 was very down. This it year. was very weak this year. The Pac-12 was extremely once, weak. Once they're taking teams they from other too. places and once they put, I, It's getting bad out once, there, man. Once they put Arizona on uh, too good. Uh, probation or they start arresting people because of the FBI thing. <laughs> yeah. Said, they, they, <laughs> They, no, once the you California said that like schools, they didn't do that. but the California schools are falling, especially UCLA. That's what it really is. When the California, when USC and Cal UCLA isn't went down, the, the the entire conference level went down. But I mean, even Cal <laughs> basketball, you know, yeah, Oregon basketball's down. Oregon State, I mean, they, Arizona they State, they all bad. You know what I'm yeah. saying it's just not. It's just Pac-12 was weak this year. It's weird. So are all those California kids going elsewhere. Are they leaving the Pac-12? And they are and, definitely and leaving to, because they have a. Th- no, they're not getting recruited. No. They're they're D two. No, they're getting recruited no, they're now. They, they have Shaq, a nice high Shaq school. Son, oh, remember, he just, just yeah. couldn't play this year. Yeah, he no, he committed to UCLA. No, he committed to Arizona. Right, and, and then he changed and right, he changed and went <laughs> to UCLA. So, so I mean, they're, and now they're he can't recruited. play at all. No, but that's well, like, he's supposed to be coming back. There's like what forty million people in the state of California. Man. I mean, you got basketball players out there. And you have the balls. They got to be going the balls. <laughs> to the other balls. schools, man. They've you got, have the balls. They got to be coming to the ACC and stuff. No. Quit, name, the balls quit high school. Na- name, playing overseas. I'm telling you, you look at anybody, anybody's uh, roster, they ain't got California kids, bro. They got California kids. They don't. Kids. Have to. No, what you mean they have to? They don't stuff. actually. So we could just like you said, there's too many of them for them not to be yeah. getting anybody from California. Hey, maybe they're not playing. Maybe they're not playing. Although I mean, I, mean, I know, I know, I might California make some people play. angry in California, but I mean, I to me, I've never thought that California had the best hoopers anyway. I Especially when some years, I was there. Hello. I remember going to Cali Hello, some years Texas ago, boys. and we <laughs> put some on them Cali boys out there. and Polo boots. We went to Palisades High School. had some flip flops doing layups and stuff. We was out there in flip-flops. We had three hoopers, one football player, and a Shout diver. Shout out, Trey Trey. <laughs> Shout out, Trey. Trey they was out there them boys out the court. We was out there with three hoopers, one football player, and a diver, and we gave them boys the business. We was running the flow. Ain't JJ, Jan, Gigi, I know you remember that. Jackie, I Jack, know you remember Jack, that. It was Jack at your practice. <laughs> it was at your practice. We was, yeah, up, you we was out guy. there in <laughs> Malibu. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, you the one brought that on your classmates. <laughs> you did in, that to them. <laughs> <laughs> we was in the Palisades hoping. Oh, man. And then we was like, let's go to the beach. Let's go see, let's see <laughs> what like, these enough of this. look like. Yeah, exactly. Enough of this. Oh, man. Anywho, in other news. So now, gentlemen, it was posted on our, uh, which, what did you post that on, Mod? But Mod? What's that? Uh, NFL player. Taylor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I posted that in the Garage Department Facebook. He got knocked out. But hold on. Before before we get the big boy getting knocked out. Yes, let's go. Come okay, on. Okay, 2019 top players in California for the class of 2019. Uh-huh. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe they'll come because you got <laughs> the number one guy, SC, number two guy, SC, 6'9 and 6'8, respectively. Uh, oh, from did you say USC? Memphis. Yeah, number three. Oh, come on. Man. Number three, uh, Cassius Stanley is forty-two percent UCLA, thirty-three percent SC. He's from Chatworth, Chatsworth, California, porn capital of the world. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm impressed that you know yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, number four is Boogie Ellis. Where you going? I, Duke. I know that name. Oh Duke. yeah. Duke. Duke. That number one. <laughs> they say I know that back. name. <laughs> and then SC. UCLA, Alabama, number seven. Number eight is going to Long Beach State. Wow. Well, no grades. Okay. That, yeah. What I tell you. No grades. Eight, nine. What I tell you. Yeah. Eight, what nine I tell you. Nobody got no grades. I think maybe they got together and say, let's go build a program. Yeah, let's go. Let's stay home, bro. What yeah. I tell this you. Is, 
Yeah. Do it for Snoop, baby. What I tell you. Number 10 is going yeah. to Virginia Tech. You don't see Arizona till number 12. That's Christian Coloco. Yeah. That's because Arizona. Also so from they, Porn they, they, Capital they Chats, where Chatsworth no, we, had to be We bad. can't Chester, play. I mean, they got Arizona seven can't feet play tall. basketball anymore. Seven feet tall, come on. going to Arizona? Seven feet tall? I mean, we, we have some good big men. I, I give we He's seven him. feet, 195. Oh, my. He's got some bulking. <laughs> hey, he's going to fall over. Oh, get going. that boy some steroids. Uh, but, uh, I saw today uh, Giannis, uh, the Greek freak, yes. was six, what was he, six and nine when he was drafted? Six, nine, 190. Jeez. And now he's six, 11, 250. Yeah, I mean, he well, had to get that, that, that. Zion Williamson put on, put on 200 pounds of. Muscle. He's 18. I'm just giving not 200. That's a bit much. He's 18. 100 pounds muscle. Zion is still growing. Yes, he is. That, yeah. That's. But and then it also grow makes, into a consistent That's also when you shot, put a cup a, in front of him and say, "Please give me fill it up to this." Hey, 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 and I'll fill it up. <laughs> give me an hour though. <laughs> the Greek <laughs> freak. The Greek freak just now eating American food. Though, nah, bro. it's not, it's not <laughs> the American food. Not the American food that he was eating euros over there. But he came over to America. We got a lot of Nigerians. He's getting that good food food. Good food food. Good man said he, he came over. He came to America. Now he wants to go back to Nigerian food. history. Yeah, oh, God. Boy. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, American food food shout out to back. my Nigerian people out there. Yeah, shout out to uh, So Nigerian Duke only got one of out of Cali? Houston. Out of the yeah, top? Yeah, number four. Again, it's out of Cali, Like though. I said. But, like right, I that's said. out of Cali. But, but, but check it. An interesting thing about this, though, based on what you said, the number one recruit in California is nationally ranked number 17. So and I guess maybe go. the talent ain't where it used to be. I and told you, you it's it's not there, yo. What you mean, seventeen is not good? We're talking about the entire nation to yeah, be seventeen. Yeah, but you're on the bench. Fifty states. That's you're not that bad. You're but on the bench. You're on the bench. Number one in California. You you're would not think even that on the would bench. Put you you're top like, five. You're not even on the squad. You're not even on the squad. You're JV. Number seventeen. You're JV. You make an All America team. He's seventeen. So he's JV. Nah, he didn't make an All American team. No, I'm saying if you made an All American team, would you put him in the top five? No, I'm saying if you made an All America team with the top what? 12? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I guess I mean, so. he's, he's number f- he's nationally number 4 in his he's position. He's second team, right? He's, he's second team all America. America. No. <laughs> Again, so what he's, well, what he did I say? He's second team yeah. the forward, so two forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's fourth in the nation in his position. So, so what I, I say? The talent has gone down. Hey, they going to D2. No, I don't think they going that. They going to Long Beach State. Yeah. <laughs> Which is did they make yeah, the tournament? We'll see. No, they nah, didn't. <laughs> they in the they they in the Sun Belt, right? Oh no, they in the West nah, Coast. What are they in? I don't know what they're it doesn't matter. It where does they matter because they, they, they qualify for the tournament. That's all that they matters. They did not qualify. No, I'm for saying it, depending, it matters where you go is whether they can qualify for the tournament. Okay, yeah, Long Beach State and the Big West. The, the, Big the West, West Coast Conference is mostly Catholic schools out there and parochial schools out there. It's mostly parochial. private schools. Look at you using yeah. your words. It's mostly I'm private so proud schools, of you. Thank you. I'm so proud Gonzaga, of you. Gonzaga, Seattle, San Diego, all those Christian schools. Anyway, so my favorite to win the tournament. Six, ten, six, nine. Uh, Thank you, baby. Jeez, Louise, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's so hard to tell at this point. Right? Let's go, Duke. I, Duke doesn't have enough people to score to me. And that bully I ball. Oh no, they got the man back. It just takes. Yeah, the moment the man came back, they became Duke real quickly again. Yeah, they did, man. But it's oh, not yeah. a whole lot of depth on this Duke team. We can't have depth. Hey, Duke. What and you that, mean you can't have that depth? bully ball? Ain't gonna work for everybody. One and done, baby. That bully ball ain't gonna work. No, you ain't got to just because you have one and done don't yeah. mean nothing. If you got eight one and done, you got depth. Yeah, I mean, Kentucky's but by definition, you won't next year. So no, but Kentucky, you can't have depth. Yeah, you will because you just recruit another eight. Yeah, like yeah. John Calipari did. Does all it every years. year? That's can't <laughs> recruit another eight. You recruit five, and if then eight you're done. You believe you got eight scholarships open up. The problem is they don't get transfers. So. I, I don't know, but my favorite. The Garage APT.com. That's right. You are listening to The Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And be sure to check out our new website, The Garage APT. Subscribe to that too. Absolutely. Subscribe to that too. I told you we got some 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 good stuff coming up. We got some articles on you guys. Let us know. Let y'all know we do more than just talk noise. Uh, yeah. We do have the ability to write and 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 create functionable sentences right. with subjects and predicates. Uh, uh, <laughs> we can conjugate verbs. That's right. Hold on. Yeah, we Hold can on. conjugate verbs. <laughs> I had. We is to the educated. 
I had went to the tournament. That's right. And you know, somewhere around here on the side of town. So. Okay, so you were talking about homeboy getting knocked out last night. Yeah, so those we'll of you, talk you about don't know. we go to some NBA. That, it was just really a sidebar. If you hadn't seen it, it has been posted on our Garage Apartment Instagram account. Uh, NFL player, Carolina Panther, T- Taylor Zahn. Is it Zahn? Is that his name? Jerry Cooney. No, nah, it's close. not. Is, what is it? Taylor. Taylor Hearn. Taylor Hearn. Uh, offensive was lineman. Was that the brother that knocked him out? Yeah, up there, I think it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> I couldn't really tell. Offensive lineman for the Carolina Panthers was in a street fight. What's crazy is he's in a street fight in flip flops. So yeah, you know he know. had no intentions yeah, of going in there. Yeah. He probably got full, had a little bit too much to drink, yeah. and came across somebody who wasn't scared about the fact that he plays yeah. in the NFL. That's literally getting caught slipping yeah. in slippers. <laughs> Taylor, you got to do better than that, baby dog. So, so uh, he oh, got oh, into baby. the street fight, and uh, you know, it appears on the video that he was trying to bully them around, and uh, old boy say, yeah, "You the get hit man today," yeah, and uh, drop that boy with a solid right hand. Yeah, I don't want to fight no more. And not only did he drop him, but you know how you do that split when you get knocked yeah. out. He was in a hurdle position. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then so ACL over there. So apparently his offensive lineman technique wasn't working. Well, actually, what it really shows is he's quite limber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's quite limber. And uh, the fact that he was able to get in that position, and and, and he laid there for quite a bit yeah. until his friends came and rescued him and allowed him to, 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 to yeah. get to his feet. I will say this. He's definitely a football player. He got up and tried to fight some more. He did. He did. <laughs> no idea where he was. He just knew I had to, hey, I got to finish the play. Yeah. Play to the whistle, coach. Play to the was, whistle. Yeah, his homeboys was like, we got to go on concussion protocol. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get you under the tent. got to get you under the tent. Yeah. Uh, hey, 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 uh, DeAndre Hopkins, Deshaun Watson, take this L. That's your boy from Clemson. Oh, it <laughs> is. That is. That is. He was on the national championship team, yeah. too. Take this L. The uh, first one. He was on the first one. He sure was. But I just wanted to make mention of that. So go ahead and check out our Instagram account. And in case you haven't seen the video, it is there. It is posted there. So now we can move on from that. What else did we have, man? Oh, we had the the IBF welterweight oh, yeah. championship last night. And we apologize. We were supposed to do a fight night show. But yeah. because we were doing the coverage of the Southland Conference, we were unable to do both. So those of you who tried to tune in and check us out for that, we apologize. We will make it up to you. I don't know which fight we'll do it for, but we'll fi- we'll find one. Yeah, but you heard some good DJing. <laughs> so just, you know what I'm saying? this j- dance and shake. Yeah. Oh, man. So, but uh, uh, Spence wants Pacquiao, right? Yeah. Spence does want Pacquiao. And uh, Garcia wants uh, Lomachenko. Uh, you know, when people talk about fixed fights, who you losing in that? They're always talking. They talk about literally uh, uh, fights that, you know, somebody came in and there was a predetermined outcome. In my opinion, I hate to say it, but this fight is the epitome of an actual fixed fight. Meaning what? The Spence and, and Garcia and fight? Garcia. Meaning that a guy had to gain like 20 pounds. And, I mean, it just... It, it, we all had kind of high hopes for it, but... But he won, though, right? No. No, Mikey Garcia did not. So now, those of you who oh, don't know... Spence those Mikey. of you who no. don't know, the... Uh, Mikey went to go see Spence. Earl Spence uh. Jr. fighting out of... What part of Texas? It's, something, it's near Dallas. Is he from Duncanville? Where is he from? Plano? Where is he from? Yes. He's from exactly. Plano? What's the difference? I know, right? He's anyway, from, from North Texas. Area. Absolutely, DFW. North Texas. Yeah, I know Plano's on the north side. Earl, Earl Spence uh, Jr., Fighting out of North Texas fought uh, right Mikey home. Garcia he was fighting at home. for the 147 IBF title. It says he's out of Long, De- Long Island. He is not out of Long Island. He's from he might have been born Dallas, there. Texas. Born anyway, uh, he like fought train. Mickey Garcia, Mikey Garcia, and uh, Earl Spence pretty much dominated uh, to the point where people, are, I've, I've even read that people said that Earl Spence has solidified the the bringing in of a new era. The Earl Spence era has yeah. began, and he has brought an end to the Floyd Mayweather Jr. era. Did you see the picture of Floyd when uh, the fight was over? I did not. Floyd looked kind of scared like he might call him out. Floyd, I mean, I, I will say this. I will say this. 
If he decides to, Floyd will have a real fight on his hand. I will say that, but I don't. Which means he should not decide to. And and and. He really has nothing to gain. But that's why I said I, that's. I was just gonna say that's why I'm almost certain that he wouldn't do it. And by the way, the the the, the young man that Floyd Mayweather knocked out. For those of you who don't know, he has returned back to the ring oh, with, a, with a with a stunning knockout in his last fight. Good. With a a roundhouse, you should have seen it too. It was nasty. A roundhouse. Kick something, some amazing. That's they kick superstar that he did. over there too, and and he knocked his opponent Good. out. So he has, I guess, regained. The, yeah, after the Floyd fight, he I was, was scared he was gonna get that. Yeah, he needs, <laughs> he needs to stick. <laughs> he, he needs to. Like he needs samurai. to. Ritual. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to stick to uh, the sport where it has feet. Absolutely, yeah. he needs to stick to kickboxing. Yeah, so, does. you were saying the fixed fight because Mikey Garcia did have to gain quite a bit of weight. Yeah, he was. The smaller man, even with the weight gain. Yeah, I mean, because even when I saw him, and, and I saw him with the weigh in, I mean, I, I know you don't have to be He Man, but I mean, homeboy, I mean, he had dad bod going on, so he <laughs> didn't gain that weight good. That was chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes weight. That wasn't like protein shakes and lean meat. I mean, I'm telling you so. So that's why he has now lost the fight and says that he wants to fight somebody entirely different now. Well, well yeah, he, wants he wants to fight, to fight him at his, his weight class. Go back down, yeah, yeah, basically. at his weight class. But I mean, that with didn't work to him, out well. Well, see, he couldn't get a big money fight at his weight class. Right, because he is a very good fighter. He was an undefeated fighter until last yeah. night. He why, was 34 and 0. Why won't Loma Chico fight him? Why uh, would he fight him? Why, why won't he? Because I'm assuming he would not fight him, so that's why he had to go up. Well, I mean, to even fight with that. Who he knew he was going to lose. No, I mean, even with Lomachenko, Lomachenko has. He's real big amongst boxing fans and boxing purists, and he really – does he have 10, fight, 10 pro fights yet? I was going to say, he, he hasn't fought that he's much. He's not a household he's, name. He's, he's an outlier in yeah. the sense that he's a champion without that many professional yeah. fights. So now, he has an extensive amateur career. He does. But his professional career is very small, see, and he's yeah. already got a championship belt. I think Mikey wanted to go get that bag, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you, you know what I'm saying? So you go Say fight in AT&T – and go get that bag, get a pay-per-view fight down, then you can go down there and fight Lomachenko. But he wanted to get that couple mil, man. Which Lomachenko ain't going to bring you that. Lomachenko which is also, fights on cable TV. Right, which is also the same thing that Mike, uh, I mean, uh, Earl Spence is doing, calling out Pacquiao. Yeah, He's also, calling yeah. out Pacquiao for the bag. He ain't doing it because, I mean. Competitively. Hey, Pac will say yes, though. Yeah, because Pac yeah, needs yeah. the money. Because he's trying to save the 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 Philippines. Save so, the whole. He's trying to save. save. Behind and pay that tax taxes. Bill, bro. You think he? In, you think he in tax trouble? He's gonna yeah, pay what you owe, trouble. Santa. <laughs> he's in tax trouble in two countries. United. Oh, uh, Bob maybe, Arum is a crook for life. Maybe he needs to get. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he needs to get Shout Huey to fundraise for him. <laughs> Shout out Bob Arum. Not Huey. Life. Maybe he <laughs> needs to get. Huh? Not Huey. Which one is it? The other one. What's that? Riley. He need to get Riley to fundraise for yeah, him. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. don't give. <laughs> That's the oh, number one man. rule of fun. Yeah, right. but did anybody oh, check out the uh, Lakers and uh, Knicks Lake? last night? No. no, tonight. I mean today. Nah, that was that today. Yeah, that was today. today. Knicks oh, won by Lord one. Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, the Lakers have thrown in the towel. Huh? Nah, LeBron had nah, thirty-three LeBron got blocked, and they got his shot blocked. It happens. His winning, his winning jumper blocked. Still the king. By who? Her, her, her zone. Yeah. yeah uh, some Bosnian war criminal looking dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who. Witness it, protection. <laughs> or or wow. Slobodan Milosevic or some damn body. I don't know. That's what it's about. The, 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 <laughs> the views of the Black Wilbur on Ahmad is not the views of the entire. Stop it, yo. That's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, that was funny. I don't oh, know man. who it was. But, but no, yeah. they, they lost. But no, they have already. My thing is this with the Lakers. At the beginning of the year, nobody expected anything from them. Everybody knew this was just a a trial period. They literally signed every player for one year contract. Right, absolutely. Every one of them except for the youngsters. So everybody knew in the beginning it was like that. Then on Christmas Day, they beat them Warriors. They're in the fourth seed. Everybody starts smelling stuff. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't be smelling it when you knew what it was in the first place. Well, if it got a smell, you can't help but smell it. I mean, well, well, you can smell it, but then you if might want to leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you it might want to leave after that. Don't just let it. 
festering <laughs> and asters there. Which you they some, don't get intoxicated by the fragrance. Right? Get the Use your poopery poopery on the boy. Get the poopery. Poopery. <laughs> poopery. Come on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and so they're still a bad team, bro. They're still a bad team with one year contract. So this with team, hurt players too. With, with hurt players. So this t- entire team will be different next year, except for the core. Which technically will probably be different as well because they'll have to be the core off. is one person though. Yeah, the core is not one person. They will have to keep one of those young. They don't know Brandon if Ingram. Gonna, he may not Kyle be able Kuzma to come back. Or Ball, one of them will be kept. Ball is not coming. And back. if, if Ingram can't ball. come back, then Ingram also can't be traded. So he's out of it. Mm. So you got Ball, you got Kuzma. I think you got to keep Kuzma. The rest of them, yeah. But who's gonna get you the most? Value for the trade, right? Kuzma, Kuzma. <laughs> you got to get rid of him. You're gonna have to get rid of Kuzma, or because that's the only way you can get a truly. But oh. don't you think that's some of the problem? They already they keep saying that what we have right now is not good enough, so they're not even getting the best out of. They have some talent. They no. have some young talent, but they're not cultivating their young talent because they keep telling them how bad they are. They no. keep trying to ship them out. I, I disagree with that completely. They are not that good. They're Ingram not play a, a playoff bit. team. Yes, Ingram can play. Ingram can go off for 30. Kuzman Kuzman go off is for 30, the man. And they would not score more than 75 points in that game. Kuzman is the man. So I imagine if you keep Kuzman and LeBron, right? Mm-hmm. Kuzman, LeBron. So then you're paying 300 million. Uh, not 300 million. Hey, but you're paying to trade. top dollar in you go ahead and keep. You go ahead and keep. Trade just because he's serviceable <laughs> and he's affordable. <laughs> you go ahead and keep um, um, Big Boy. Now? What's his name? God, down there to no. He's gone. Chandler? Zubak's no. gone. The man with the hair. It's right Mama here. played. Team. McGee. Oh, the man McGee. McGee. <laughs> the man with the hair. Well, mama <laughs> played. <laughs> that, His sister went to Texas and all that. Hold on, that, hold on, man. That His is so played. trash. What? This man has a ring. Has been playing has been in the, <laughs> Is a constant... On well, Shaq and the Fool. Be, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> and then, but the way you described him was his mama played. I would be w- honest because I always <laughs> look at him. In my, mind, in my mind, he is always Pam McGee's son. That's in my right. mind. That's how I view wow. him. Hey, That's shout out to right. JaVale McGee. McGee. Hey, JaVale, you need to come down to Houston and let this boy know. <laughs> and then it had even gotten so bad as he became, what's it called, his brother. I don't, but now I don't remember his sister's name because oh, she well. ain't playing the most. So you cover one women's basketball team no! and you miss the women's basketball all of a sudden. No, That's I, Pam McGee's son. Stop it. I've, I've always been in the – man, I went to the first ever WNBA basketball game. You better ask. Well, so the okay. first ever in, in the Great Western Forum, I was there. It was the, the – the, Shout the, out to the co- – L.A. Sparks Comments. versus the the New oh, York the Liberty. Liberty. Rebecca wow. Lobo. I was there. That's when Spoon was and there. I was in the, the building. Yeah. Yeah. Tyra and Banks was in the building. And then my cousin Tyra Andrea, Banks, she used to be person? a season ticket holder, I so I went to, to a couple of Comics games. And yeah. man, I've been I've been down with the I watch it because my old man used to ref women's right, basketball. Right, 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 so they right. had that big Chinese lady there too. That big Chinese. What lady. whatever the. She was well, like, LA Y'all Spark. mean mama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all mean mama was a big Chinese lady. <laughs> no, she wasn't. <laughs> like, David Latin, like David Latin's grandson is going to always be Monica Lamb's son, right? I don't really? know. Okay. So, I mean, in my eyes, because Latin didn't do nothing after Oklahoma. Right. But, right. I mean. Yeah. Right. But, 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 but I will tell you that dude that played quarterback for Miami, he Felicia's son. What's his name? Ah. I have no idea. The dude that played quarterback for Miami two years ago. Uh, Remember what was yeah, his name? Uh, he was uh, <laughs> Felicia's son on Friday. I forgot his oh, name. Oh, that was her son. Yeah, but that's all he was to me is Felicia, little boy. Oh, <laughs> was that son? <laughs> so you get yeah. it then? Why I you get it? To... <laughs> I get it. Is it Malik Rozier? Rozier? Nah, 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 man. You, you play, uh, the mixed kid because his dad is a well, that, Caucasian fella. Remember he was a big tall dude, man. Uh, anyway. Let's keep talking NBA. And then I'll <laughs> so you get it, what I'm talking about. I know, I do, I do. Anyway, I do, I do. so, I mean, I, I think. I mean, Jamel McGee's a little bit more high-profile. Well, this is true. He is an NBA champion. And I always thought he I always thought he was talented. I don't want to sit there and dismiss that man uh-huh. like that. Except I for when he's trying to do two things at once. I always thought he was talented. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah okay. he was not that. Um, oh, yeah, see, I didn't even know that's who that was. He's backing up Matthew Stafford, though. <laughs> what is that saying? They just brought They're saying he's never going to hit the field. Ryan so, Fitzpatrick is now another starting quarterback in the league. 
Oh, that was some also breaking news since you said that it was mentioned to us while we were covering the, the tournament. Johnny Manziel has Man, signed has with signed Memphis. with but read up the on Memphis how team he got and the out. A, yeah. A, 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 they banned him from Canadian football. The way football. he got out of the CFL was crazy. Like, they banned him. He, he, Please explain. Apparently he was on drugs or... All he, yeah, he uh, basically, but from what I'm hearing is he did it on purpose. Oh, okay. Is that he sabotaged his way out by doing the one thing that they basically said he could not do. So what, do. did he walk in the general manager's office? I doing don't public? know, but when that, when I he had that, <laughs> He had that rolled up $100 yeah. bills, like, say, uh... Nah. <laughs> this man literally <laughs> cannot play in the entire... Like, the, the team cut him, <laughs> and they had to put out a statement before anybody else could pick him out saying that he is not eligible to play. Oh, my God. It's like, you can't come back to Canada, bro. Yeah, he came in with a Coke spoon. And now he's got three years, one hundred twenty million. I mean, one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Oh man! But <laughs> big money. The San Antonio team has big released his rights, so he is a free agent. If oh, you that's will. right to be picked up on waivers. Yes, because you're supposed to go to your team closest to your college. Oh, so but they have the rights to I the t- the players closest. He, that's what I'm saying. So, but he's supposed to go to San Antonio. San Antonio said, "I ain't, you ain't worth a headache, bro." Released his rights. What's crazy wow. is he's so from that team. area. But yeah, Memphis, yeah, the team, he, the one he went to also had Hackenberg and uh, the trash. Mettenberg, right? Yeah. They didn't think it was worth picking him up. He's from that area, and I know he's still considered a legend in those bro, parts. Bro. Well, they're kind of rolling. They so are not trying to get doing okay. any kind of bad press. Yeah, but some, they still in the business of making money. Yeah. They good, bro. Yeah. He, would br- he would generate revenue for them. There is no other Texas team, right? Uh, no, Texas, mm-hmm. Louisiana, and I want to say Oklahoma. Yeah, all that goes to San Antonio. Yeah, well, Memphis had to break that up because their doggone quarterback sounded like two SS members, you know. But they are all bad. Too. Of Hitler's uh, entourage. Hackenberger. Hackenberger. It sounded racist. Oh <laughs> my god! This wasn't a good look. Huh? Nah, it wasn't a good look. It's too damn German. Oh That's my That's scary. Goodness. Oh my Nor could he throw out to save his life. Man, either. it's and, and, and can you believe they were saying that Bill O'Brien at one point was high on Hackenberg? Yes, they were saying he. They, <laughs> no, he they were really, really trying him. to get Hackenberg in oh, the league, oh. man. They was but like, wait, wait, he's wait, a wait. great. He might have really been, made the league. He might have really been high on Hackenberg because we have noticed that Jim O'Brien is not a very good gauge Bill. of uh, a very good judgment of quarterbacks. Because uh, he didn't want Deshaun Watson. He He didn't want Deshaun Deshaun Watson. Watson, He didn't want Deshaun Watson. Rick Smith drafted him. But uh, all the quarterbacks. I mean, if you all the quarterbacks that that. Jim O'Brien has. Smith, fair brother. (laughs) I was gonna say something bad, but I'm not. All of the quarterbacks that uh, Jim O'Brien has seemed to want have. Bill O'Brien. Yeah, him too. Jim O'Brien was the Boston College. Yeah, because they're basketball coach. Ohio. Bill O'Brien, yeah, he has not seemed to be a good judgment of quarterbacks. I, However, saying, all the trash Jim quarterbacks Calhoun? he got, he did exceptionally <laughs> no, I'm well with. Jim O'Brien, who is Jim O'Brien? I'm I don't know. To he say, wasn't no basketball I'm meaning coach. To say, hey, who was the name no. of the coach at Ohio State? The Jim basketball o- coach. Dad Mata? No, no, before that. The basketball coach at Ohio State. What is his name, Jim O'Brien? I don't know. I think it was Boston College. Anyway, I meant Bill O'Brien. Okay. Bill O'Brien, the, co- the coach at of the Houston Texans. All right. So now, we got about. I mean, Friday is is when this all, or Thursday is when March Madness starts all over again. There you go. Thursday, Thursday, this Thursday. Man, then Friday. Start, put in your time, people. Put in your time. Take off. You know, they're going to have the morning session and then the evening session. And well, then they're going to have the night session for the play-in games. Well, that's on Tuesday night. That's Tuesday? Yeah, those are Tuesday Okay, nights. so in two days, March Madness starts. Oh, yeah, they, they starts. play on Tuesday night. Yeah, and like then, you're young and get two the, days for your bracket now, man. And then the rest, of, time. <laughs> the rest of the tournament plays on Thursday right. night. The bracket is printed out today, and you got to fill it out by Tuesday. Hey, but going back to Menzel, let's just hope Mike Singletary ain't got to say this. Cannot win with him. <laughs> Can't do it. Will not. <laughs> Can't do it. And guess who he was talking about? He was talking about uh, Vernon, Vernon, Vernon Davis. 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 Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> the fastest tight end ever. Who can't? He was suspect in hands. And though. his his God. his hair, uh, um, 
line, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> For lack of a better term, because yeah. it's definitely not a line. It's what is it? A, what is this new choker he wears uh, across his neck when uh, he plays? He's just now. a weird guy. He got yeah. a choker. Well, the, I mean, you know, uh, he's from Maryland. Him, he's from DC. I was Ryan say, got a two-year deal San for eleven million dollars. Yeah, I got to got that San Francisco, Francisco right life, man. That boy, I bet it boy get down at the go-go though. Yeah, he yeah. got tied down listening to EU. Chilling at the wharf. Don't touch that stereo. Don't touch that stereo. Doing the butt. <laughs> yeah. A lot of crazy stuff. Doing the course. button San Fran is not is not, oh. is not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not what you want. It takes on a whole different meaning. Oh my goodness, you were listening to the Garage of Quality. Oh my goodness. Do the booty old man. Do the butt cheeks. Booty butt cheeks. Mother of a home. Home and home and home. Yeah. Watch the bone docks, people. Watch the bone docks. <laughs> you can literally attribute lots of things in life with the bone docks. Yeah, hey, yeah. Quote it at all times. Yeah, so now yeah. we got five Except minutes left, fellas. Five season. minutes left. Five minutes left. We didn't really uh free agency. NFL yeah, we, we hit on it a little bit, but but not a whole lot. The Texans are giving people away and not getting giving people right. away. I mean, I mean hey. we're gonna kill it in the draft, they are. Sayonara. Kareem Jackson. That was the biggest giveaway ever. And and Honey Badger, but yeah, definitely. Well, no, Honey that Jackson. was a bad giveaway. But the other one who who set us back about three years, uh, Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Quarterback. Oh, yeah. my goodness. We got you rid of him. You just Mr. wasted Mr. time. Light just the Texans through, yeah. got rid of him. The Texans got rid of him as well, <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Sorry, don't pay me no more. I apologize. <laughs> they don't pay you no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Unfortunate. Is Eric Berry still out there? Eric Berry is still out there. Why don't they just sign him? Hell, because yeah. Eric Berry won the same thing that Matthew got, which we wasn't with it. We we got the dude from Jacksonville. The Texans. Which got one? The, the Texans Bears. got the dude from <laughs> Jacksonville. Uh, Tayshawn Gibson. Something. If Gibson. it ain't Jalen Ramsey, I don't want to hear. It. No, no, no. I, see, you sound like me. That's the same thing I said, because Gamal made mention of that, too. They was like, oh, the Texans picked up a... Th- if it ain't Jalen Ramsey... I don't care. I don't care what comes out of Jacksonville. Really? But Jalen Ramsey was getting torched Tossed this year. Dusty. That's because he's hurt. And oh, now, got, oh, now, now he he's really hurt? Was, he was playing so why hurt. Do we want to hurt play? Why did the Texans want a hurt player? If we want a hurt player... No players now. Wait, if we no. want a hurt player, we just kept Kevin Johnson. Oh, if the Texans want to hurt, hurt and that man no, hurt himself <laughs> out for the season the by Texans falling on the, the turf. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a hurt Jalen Ramsey over a hundred. Texans got the Denver cornerback, uh, huh? Roby, something Roby. Okay, ex ex cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ex cult. One D. And then they got the uh, safety from Jacksonville. Well, I, I'd go first. I'm mad they got rid of Gilchrist though. He was a good safety for the Texans. Yeah. Oh, that was, hurt. what, two seasons ago? No, that was, la- no, that was last year. Michael Gilchrist? Did he yeah. play last year? No, that's when they got rid of him. Oh, uh, okay. That boy, Hamad Jennings said Hopkins killed Ramsey last year. Uh, <laughs> Ramsey was hurt last, last year. year. And not to mention, Hopkins is by far yeah. one of the top two receivers in the NFL. And the only reason I say two is because I don't want to. Shout out to uh, uh, one is AB. Shout no. out to Hopkins. Well, we'll see, we want we'll you see on the if show. he's number one with Derek yeah. Carr. Hey, don't don't yeah, break your hand on my brother. Because D, D Hopkins was number one with Fitzpatrick and uh uh what's the dude's it name uh, from Boise State and seven other quarterbacks that were trash as you yeah, just mentioned well, I before. See, uh, uh, I mean, you know, we also got to look at the resurgence of OBJ. Oh, that's gonna and be crazy. Gonna be on the other Jarvis side of, of Landry, and, and, Jarvis and Landry there. Cleveland is Cleveland. making moves. I'm they hoping say Cleveland's a playoff slash Super Bowl contender. I'm hoping they, they will still be the Browns, Already. which means that they will find a way to mess it up. Guess what? I don't think so. I bet you don't think I so. Bet, no. I bet Pitch, Pittsburgh uh, sweeps Cleveland this year. You're crazy because Pittsburgh okay. is dead in the water. I mean, I'm gonna say Pittsburgh ain't gonna beat Baltimore, and Baltimore <laughs> may not beat Cleveland. So <laughs> it's gonna Juju be. say he ready, man. Uh, yeah, Juju I know. say he ready to be that dude. Juju's Juju's gonna be only dude. I hope, I hope they go. I hope He's they the go only dude, buy. Though. No, they signed somebody. I hope like they Crab go buy my boy Arm over over the off season. I can't think of his name right now. Ooh. Lamar Jackson. Oh uh, yeah. What yeah. you say? No, no, no. Just arm. give him time, bro. Just give him time. Nah, he should improve a lot. Though. Yeah, he should. The man played time. what? Half a season. Yeah. 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 He played well. So we gotta leave it there, man. Hey, I I'm mean, I, the beer. we only we only got an hour, y'all. I know we end up having such a good time. Man, y'all end up y'all have a great week. Stay blessed. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, 
Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out our new website, thegarageapt.com. Uh, we'll be having some new stuff coming on our our YouTube channel. That was so far this week show will be probably starting soon. Yeah, Maybe. check social <laughs> media for that. We're gonna hey, let you we, know. We're gonna have yeah, to do we'll one this know. week. We got the studio. We got to get the studio ready. Yeah, you know check. what I'm saying? Hey, we got an interesting poster for it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hustled up on that, man. All right. So look, y'all have a wonderful week, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. And out, as always, hold it down. We'll see you next week. And we out. I know.